Hello everybody, Targalian. Welcome back to another episode of Satisfactory. So, everything was stopped, the whole production, uh, because all the containers over here were full, and I just took out a bunch of screws and iron rods to make rotors and uh, reinforced uh, plates. So they are running again because we've got some research to do and so on. We need to start progressing today. And so right here, we're going to add the 50 rotors and the 10 in order to unlock the steel production. I want to get this unlocked because in order to get to Logistics MK3 to get the fastest conveyor belts, you guys see on the bottom, we need motors. And motors we learn from the steel production. So we're going to do that first. And then I also today want to get rid of all the other ones um, here, these little ones. There's a fourth one over there. Uh, just to, you know, to unlock them. And then we possibly do these two as well. So I just want to have all the first zero to three tiers done today. And then we'll continue over here. Um, and of course, we need to set up a bunch of production. So let's go ahead and send this off. And we're going to get a lot of stuff here. Reached. Steel production I think unlocked. this is the first time the that I'm sending this out. Included to ensure efficiency of new pipelines. A collection of new, more complex parts is now available for crafting. Since I put the ceiling on here, I think it's the first time. Okay, so we got a bunch of new things, especially the minor MK2. We're gonna need the foundry is to make the steel. Um, it doesn't really tell us what we need to input here, but I guess we can see that in a second. If I go over to here, I think we can craft these things by hand as well. Yeah, right there. So, we can make steel ingots with iron ore and coal. Okay. Alright, that's perfect. Because then we're going to upgrade our coal uh, conveyor belt today to get a lot more of that coming over here. Steel beam is pretty much like... Probably kind of equivalent to the iron plate because it takes three steel to make a plate. And then the steel pipe takes one. So this is like the iron rod. And then what do we have here? Oh, this is the reinforced one. Just like the iron. And then the statter. Statter. Steel pipe and wire. Okay. And then the motor is rotors and statters. Okay. And then we got the heavy modular frame. Wow four items holy moly okay but let's go ahead and also take out this research over here in the ma'am this was mycelia the second time the first time it told us i need more research so let's see what this is going to give us this type of mycelia has strong healing properties r and d has created a blueprint you can access in hub tier three okay I also want to make this fabric once we uh, researched it, but first we're going to research one of these power slugs because I think this one will unlock upgrades for the machines. Um, I'm not sure what, what they're called, so we'll see when we have that research. So what do we get in hub tier 3? Medicinal inhaler. Oh, no way! So that means we can can be inhaled to fully restore health. I'm I'm, but I don't know. We're gonna have to research that as well. Cool. So what's the plan here? Well, the first thing I want to do is I want to automate. Let me just show you here real quick. I want to automate these two today, and that is we gonna automate the rotor and the modular frame. These two right there. And the rotor is with um, iron rods and screws, and the modular frame is with the reinforced plates and iron rods. And reinforced plates is plates plus screws. So, I, I was thinking this. This production over here, even though these are full right now, is not very fast. You know, it's all with the slowest conveyors, the slowest input, everything. And I don't want to mess with this. At least not for now. You know, we might redo this room here later in this series. I'm not sure. But I think we're gonna set up a new one up here. Where we're gonna make all the components, like the plates, the rods, and the screws. And then um, have these guys right here. What are they called? Assemblers. Actually make the reinforced plates and then the rotors and the frames. So we're gonna need... Yeah, I guess we're gonna need three of these to make... Combine them and we're gonna need at least three of these to make the parts but 
we might have to up this so um, up this to like six and three so we make enough components and i think we're gonna put this up here right um and i don't know how much higher we're gonna go it depends on how this is gonna work out this floor because we do still have a lot of room you know we could also go up higher and maybe I know the word outsourcing is not the right word, but like put it into different buildings. But we'll see how this is going to work in the future. That's the beauty about this game. You know, you can always rebuild. So I'm going to go ahead and let's check out here real quick. Now that we have the minor MK2, I want to have extract solid resources from the resource node built on the normal extraction. It is 120 per minute. This is only, only 60. I want to make two of those, and I think we're going to start... Hmm. Hmm. 120. How much does this conveyor belt do here? This one does 120, so that is enough for one. But I think I want to have two iron coming in. Um, The thing is, back here, behind this side of the building, there is one iron node. And I think I want to use that one to come into here for that at 120 so we're only gonna need one of these right now let's go ahead and mark this one so i need these materials oh it takes steel to make them okay but really not a lot that is quite doable but i do need to run over to our power production and pick up some of the coal that we have over there i think i'm just gonna empty two or three of them and they're they're bored they're not doing much at all because I'm hardly using any power. Um, can we see that on these? Yeah, I mean, if you look at it, I'm using 10 to 15 or 400 right now. So they're barely using anything. So I'm just going to go ahead and ninja a couple of stacks from here. So I don't need to take them off the conveyor belt and they're going to fill up. No problem. You guys had a lot of really good input on my splitters back there that, you know, some of you were telling me. Um, that there was really no need for me to split it up the way I did it because the things don't use nearly enough. And then some of you told me that um, if they're running at full speed, I don't have nearly enough coal coming in. So we're going to have to see how it works out over time. Again, we can always rebuild things. And let's go ahead and uh, wait a second. What does it take for steel? Does it take the ingots or just the iron ore? to make that let's double check again stealing it i actually need the ore okay so i need to take uh, that out and bring it over no problem and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and craft a bunch of these things up and then we'll see what we're gonna get started with but i can take this out and then the same from the other one over there all right there good now i should have all the raw resources i need all right, so let's get started here with this new smelting setup. And the vein is right there. So let's go ahead and... Mm, yeah, let's put this down first just so I can make sure that I do not interfere with it. And I think we're going to put it... This way, and then we can come up over here. Let's just see if this is going to work. And then here we're just going to set up a platform where we're going to put four smelters. Because the smelters it process 30 ore into 30 ingots a minute. And this MK2 is going to give us 120. So that should work out. Is there any... Okay, that looks good. And I hope, yes, I can come even one further this way. I'm kind of excited about seeing this inhaler. Um... Let's make it one bigger. It's so much easier to build when you can click on the side of these things. So I think we're going to remove this one here. And then put them like this. And I might be able to put a ramp right here. No, okay, it's interfering. So we're going to have to put it here. All right there, so we can get back up here. Okay, so this should be an... I don't know if this is going to be big enough. We'll see. Um, I actually might have to turn this thing around, so we'll see. So we got... I need four of these set up. And I guess the output should be towards the front. Yeah, I'm going to have to turn this around. And I should 
be able to fit four here. Hopefully. Do I want to butt them up directly or want to put them like centered? Yeah, let's leave just a little bit of room here. And see how that works out. I also think it's going to look better if there's a little bit of a gap. Alright, yeah, so I want to come into here. Alright, so I need to turn this one around. Oops, wrong button. Well, actually, let's, let's do it this way. I'm going to split it up. Should I split it up or should we just do the splitters in line? You know what? Let's... <clears throat> let's test it. Because, like I said, some of you guys said that I can com totally um, split this up. So maybe we'll come around this way and then do it here. Yes. Okay, let's do it that way. So I'm going to need a, a splitter. Let's say uh, right here. That is in line with that. There. What? Why did it turn around from the first one? That doesn't make any sense. This way. Yes, input from the left. And then the same with this one. And the last one, of course, doesn't need one because it just goes in there. Um, and I probably want to have the... Yeah, I'm still going to run the faster conveyor through here. So we're going to go from here to there. What do they actually cost? Oh, just reinforced plates. Okay. And then the last one over here definitely does not need to be a fast one. But I do want to have it look better. So we'll put down our right there. And that way we get our nice sharp turn. And again, these ones here can all be 60 because this machine cannot uh, process more than 30 anyway. What? Oh, this is the input? Ay ay ay. So this one was not placed right either. Um, that's the splitter. Oh, right there. It shows input from the left. Oh yeah, yeah. It needs to be. Yeah, yeah. Of course. And now into you. And we can use the fast one oh, right there. Okay. So now all I need to do is bring this over here. And let's see what kind of a turn we can do here. Um, hmm. Okay, it can turn quite sharp. All right, I'm going to extend this over here one. And then we are going to... Yes, I, I think I got it. I think I got it. So we're going to put this conveyor thingy right there. And then put this one in line right there. Okay, and now, of course, I need the fast one. I should probably put this on the... Meh, we won't use it that often. I was going to say I should put this on the bar. What does this look like this turn? That's a good one. I like it. Alright, now let's see how we can set this up over here. I mean, it's going straight into the mountain there. I cannot do that. could turn it this way if I take away the last foundation over there. Don't really need it. I'm not going to spend much time out here. Alright, it's right there. And the fast one again. All the way to here. Alright, so we got our smelting set up. We're just going to power this up. Where is the nearest power hookup? I probably want to... 
I'm I need to pull a new one over here. Which one are we gonna go with? I want to leave this one open just in case so I think I'm gonna come from over here yes oh let's come to right there cables hooked up good and then we can hook we'll hook this one up last okay a power pole for these two and then a power pole for these two. You two there. Let's not forget one today because I have a habit with that. And then uh, there we go. So now they should all be set. Yep, I saw them all kick in. So you're going to make iron 30 per minute. And there. Alright, good. Now we'll kick this in and see how fast this is spinning out. The ore for us. Does this look any different, this machine? Than this one? Yeah, it's got this extra thing here on the side. Well, this one just has scaffolding in the back. Wow. Okay. And now let's see how the splitters are going to work in line instead of doing the down the middle. Oh, don't over jump. So this should be 30 a minute and this sh they, they all again, if my math doesn't mislead me, but you guys see there is so much less on that belt that there is here. Okay, so the fabric research is done. Let's this see what fabric is suitable for the creation of parachutes. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 2. Parachutes? I had no idea they were even in the game. That is awesome. And let's go ahead and do this hard drive. I wonder what this is going to give us. 10 minutes. That's what a hard drive looks like in the future, huh? It's a little scratched up there. Okay. And I want to do this medicinal inhaler. I, I really want to know what this is about. So let's go ahead and get this going. I, I want to know what it's crafted out of. Because if it's crafted... You gonna say anything? No. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna say it's probably not in here. Okay. It's gotta be over here. Medicinal inhaler. Oh man, that's not helpful. Or is that... Oh, it looks like it's crafting five of them. And it restores my full HP. Okay. Pale berry. Is that the red one? I think so. Barrel nuts, I know. And mycelia and the mushrooms. That's still quite... I was hoping for to get some kind of a medicinal thing that does not require you to keep collecting berries because they're finite, right? So eventually you run out, but I guess if we go maybe out and, and we know there's going to be a very dangerous area, we use this. Um, so we don't need to, you know, eat seven berries for three and a half hearts and stuff. We can just use an inhaler. We'll see uh, about that in the future. So that is done. When is this coming back in 1 minute and 46 seconds? And the next thing I want to do, I'm not getting a more oh, parachute. We have to learn that eventually, not today. I want to get this one done first. I already tore down the smeltery setup that we just did. And we're going to set it up again. But with these right here. Because we are getting 240 iron. And I want to make full use of it. So I want to set up 8 smelters. Um, there's no new smelters, I think. Well, only for steel. So I'm gonna need to go ahead and select milestone and I need to get all these things together here by hand. So I'm gonna need to get more steel, I'm guessing this. Yeah, this is gonna take me a few minutes here to get all this stuff done. Uh, and I think I'm gonna just start with the things that I know how to make, like these modular frames on 820. So I got lots of crafting to do to get these because the motors are gonna require a lot of steel. Yeah. 
Okay, let's check out what this hard drive is. Whoa. Is giving us. The analysis of hard drive is complete. No new research is available. Try again later after further progress. Your NA has been returned to you. I... Alternate blue s blueprint screw. Ah, check this out. So we can go directly to screw instead of having to make iron rods first. That is huge. Or over here we can make um, iron ingots and coal instead of iron ore. And this looks like iron and copper. Instead of making 30 a minute, we're making 45 a minute. I think... I think I want this. This is huge. Having to... Uh, being able to save that one extra step. I think I'm gonna go with this. That makes the most sense to me. This one over here... I don't, I don't see the reason. Because then I would need to use a forge. Yeah, it makes 15 more a minute. This one over here doesn't make any sense either. I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go with this one here. This is huge. That is awesome. Data on the hard drive has been salvaged and can be repurposed to unlock an alternate recipe. Salvaging more hard drives will provide additional alternate recipes. Very cool. I'm gonna hold on to the other ones for later. Um, when we're much further progressed because you know maybe there's an easier way to make oil later on or whatever else is gonna come down the line and i think i have everything for this one now so let's go ahead and research this new conveyor belt of course i did not bring wires and cables let's get those real quick uh, da -da. how many did i need 2500 uh, one two three four five and 300 cables. There we go. So now I have everything. By the way, what else is there to research right now? Just hard drive. We don't have anything else. And I don't know why some of these things are in here like three times now. Um, maybe because we researched them three times. The carapace, for example. Alright. And you. And one, two... Three. Do it. Yes. Milestone reached. Logistics have improved by the means of a container with increased storage capacity and enhanced conveyor belt efficiency. Very cool. So what are these new conveyors? A number, let's check here real quick. Anything else? Okay. Right there. What do they cost? They cost the... Uh, whatever. Steel beams. And... Nothing here yet. The jump pads we got earlier and we got this bigger container here which i guess is not bad to have all right uh, whoa what was the thing oh this one here i just didn't hover over it okay all right let's go ahead and make a few of these steel beams real quick because i'm gonna need to lay the new conveyors the rest of the the smelters i've already set up we just have to run the the steel beams. I squished them together a little bit further, um, just because I was running out of room on 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 the far end where the smelters are set up, due to there being trees and then also um, a mountain <laughs> or a hill. It's not a mountain. Um, let's run up here and set this up while we still have a little bit of daylight set. So this is what it looks like now. There's eight of these smelters, and. Now we're going to run this new conveyor belt. I'm excited about this. 270 items. So this is still faster than what we actually need. Because we're only making 240. I don't know if I would possibly be able to overclock that to 270. But for right now... Oh yeah, and then it goes straight in here. And then we just need to connect the little ones. In between each one of them the rest is all set up I figured I'm gonna save us a little bit of time because we just did it with four and then the last one here is just a, oh, wow it's already here <laughs> oh look at this going all 
Okay, now this thing here should not be filling up. Okay. Why is it still filling up? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I did everything but set these guys to iron. That's the one thing I forgot. Didn't set any one of them. Very cool. So now while I do this, I want to talk with you guys about something. The more I play this now, um, and we'll see, how, you know, we're seeing how many materials we need. And I didn't run this last conveyor over here. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm starting to feel like we need a main bus. Now, if you have never played Factorio, I'm going to see... Nah, I'm not going to overlay a screenshot. I'm going to just explain it to you. Imagine we have an area where we are making all the ingots. So something like this. But we would then move this one to somewhere else. Okay? Um, so all the copper, all the iron and everything is in a main building. And that is something we could have multi-layered. Right? So like the bottom floor would make all iron. The middle floor would make all copper. And then another one for all steel. And then out of that building we have the fastest belts coming out. Like this one. With just ingots going into a base material factory right so that second factory would make iron plates iron rods um, screws and those kind of things right and then coming out of that one we have another bus coming out and from that bus we always split off in factories okay so you would have let's say a six high conveyor tower like we have in here the conveyor belts right and then you always just split off two or three items that you need in this current assembler or later on I think there is another one a four tier I don't think we have that yet yeah after the assembler there's gonna be another one with four inputs this is the assembler and the other one is maybe called the manufacturer or something like that I'm not sure so you would then just split them off because like right now I am making all these materials and they're just going into storage but the goal of this game is that pretty much, you know, obviously I'm going to need to get things by hand or convey it into here. Um, I need to have some materials, but I can then simply take them out of the machines when they're full or out of the uh, the very end. Um, what are they called? The, the storage containers. So I'm thinking of doing that. So that means that we would have to rebuild a lot. And I kind of want to hear from you guys. Um, how if you have any ideas how we should do it right should we just for now leave all this so we have the raw materials coming right and then later on move everything and start laying out the factory so get rid of this thing here and actually find a permanent location somewhere up in the mountains somewhere right where it's not in my way I don't want to have this thing here it takes up so much space um, and possibly even moving the power production so we can fill this entire valley here with one factory floor and on one end have all the smelters and then, you know, just have this bus snaking around the entire factory. Wherever you need it, you can just tap into it. So I want to hear from you guys if, if you're interested in seeing that or you just want me to stay compact like I am now and just build more factories, I guess. But it, it would really be a waste because once these containers are full, nothing else happens in this entire factory, right? While if I up the production and the conveyor belts and add multiple machines per raw resource, I would have always moving parts because there's always something needed somewhere. But let's head upstairs real quick and just get an idea because I am, um, I for now I even for where's my way up over there, even for the time being I'm still going to make um, a few assemblers up here that make me these machine frames and the rotors and I would like to start storing them somewhere because it seems that we need them a lot, right? I spent about an hour and a half now trying to figure out how we're gonna set this up on that upstairs floor and I want to show you guys what I came up with. Um, it was pretty crazy and it really showed me that we need to really rethink or I need to rethink my 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 factory layout I need a lot more room and at this I need I need to run on these buses and it's all gonna make sense here in just a second why because all this look look at how many things are up here now all to make these modular frames and the rotors it's pretty crazy and I'm gonna show you guys over here first how I conveyor this up 
So you guys see I'm coming from the left to the right up into this window here. And it's all temporary now that I kind of made up my mind. I still want to hear you guys' feedback on, on this bus, right? But let's let's continue while I still have daylight. So these are all mergers, all with the MK3 conveyors coming up into here. And this is the last thing we're going to conveyor up as soon as I'm done showing you. And then once everything is running, we're going to figure out where we want to put overclockers. Because it's not going to be able to run at full speed without them. So, this assembler right here is going to make us the modular frames that are going to go into a container back here and this assembler here is going to make us rotors i still need to put a, con uh, a um, container somewhere to store them i don't think i have room there we'll see in a second so how this works is one of these is going to make screws and one is going to make uh, iron plates and these only make 15 iron plates both right but in order to have full production on one of these right here, this is going to make reinforced iron plates and this is going to make reinforced iron plates. I need 20 per minute for each machine. So I'm going to have to overclock these two. And screws, I need 120 per minute in the machine that I'm standing on, on to make these reinforced iron plates. So these four machines over here, I think I need to overclock to get the maximum amount of reinforced plates. Now... That will only make 10, 5 each. This one 5 and that one 5. But this assembler needs 12 a minute um, in order to make one modular frame. So we're not going to be able to run this at full speed. Because if I overclock this one and this one, I need to overclock these even more or have more multiples, right? And I don't have any more room. Look at this. I could have probably squeezed it in a little bit tighter, but man, I rebuilt this so many times until I finally figured it out. I actually forgot this one. This one makes iron plates that are going to go, uh, iron rods that are going to go into here to make the modular frames. So everything is blinking yellow, so all the power is ran as well. So now I'm just going to have to figure out the container here. And that, oh, I still have this here. I don't think I can fit a container here. So we're going to have to put the container, let's say, right here. Like I said, I only want to store a container full of both rotors and modular frames if I can between episodes so we have them for when we rebuild the factory, right? So in is this one right there. Let's squeeze it right here. And then we're gonna come out to um, no, no, six. I redid my bar as well. Let's come to here. One, two, one, two. Right there. Okay, there. And then we'll go to six. Is this in line? Yes. One, two. Right there. And there. Okay. So, whoa. I can't believe it's getting dark again. Unbelievable. Um, I, I think I might only need one of these. So you're in line one, two, right there. And please tell me you're fitting underneath that. Yes. And then we'll come into here. So now we can also store the rotors in here. Okay. So now let me show you guys the other setup here for the rotors. This is much easier to run around to get up on the ladder. Um, because the rotors only need um, iron rods and screws. 132 screws. Each one of them makes 90. So I could overclock one. But I wasn't sure if I'm going to run out of overclockers. So Because I only have five. So I'm just going to use two of them to come into here. So I'm going to make more screws than needed. And then this one over here is going to make... Wait a second. Rotor needs iron rods. Right? I think I've set this to iron rods. Yes. Okay, um, and the thing is that iron rods, I need 18 per minute. I'm getting more than enough screws, but 18 per minute, this one only makes 15 per minute. So that's why I have five, I, I calculated for five. But before we overclock anything, like I said, we're going to kick this in and just watch it and see, you know, where we can really see a bottleneck. I, I wish I could have built this with you guys, but we're going to focus on that in a new factory um, with multiple buses. Like, for example, I learned that... Iron rods and iron plates are not going to be easy to keep, uh, are going to be easy to keep up. But iron, the screws, we have such a high demand for screws. It is nuts. It really is. Um, so 
Let's just make this last one nice. So we're going to put one here. Um, one, two, one, two. Put this one there. Right down the middle. So this is going to be one, two. Come on, place it. There we go. And now we can wire this up nicely with the MK3s again. Because I need to make sure that this keeps up and it's gonna start here. I can't believe it's night again. The days feels like they're so slow, uh, so short, but it's just because I'm so busy here. Okay, so now let's get up somewhere. Um, let's get up on this guy here. We can have kind of a good overview from this one here. I don't like to put up the... Uh, what's the flashlight again? No, not F. Uh, is it V? Yes, okay. Look at the screw shooting out of here. Okay, okay, and there's the... Why are these... Why did these start before the other ones? Oh, they're just coming out in bursts. Okay, because we're not making them fast enough. And you see the iron plates are coming out very slow. So now if we look at this here... It's making one, and I want to see how how much um, how long we have to wait until the next one is made. Okay, so the iron plates are just slow. The screws stay full. Okay, that's not what I expected. I thought I was going to be slow on screws as well because I'm only making ninety per minute. But this one clearly stays full, just not the iron plates. I don't get it. I'm making 90 per minute. <laughs> um, am I seeing something wrong here, guys? I am not sure, but let's go ahead and overclock one of these. Because I have never used this. So now, let's see here. It, it right now shows 15 per minute. And then I can bring this slider up. Let's bring it. Let's bring it all the way. 150%. What is this going to go up to? 22.5 per minute. So I'm making more than I need. Let's come down to like 140%. 21 per minute. I want to get this to exactly 20 per minute. I just want to see if it's possible. So 35. 20.25. I'm... I don't know. Can we get this 134? 20.1. Okay, so now I'm making enough iron plates that this should stay full. Yes. But why is this pausing here? Why? Efficiency. 79%. percent 80%. So somebody want to explain to me why this is... Okay, I'm going to turn this off for a second. Because I want to fill this up so we have a little bit more. And then I'm going to turn it on again. I'm trying to understand this here. Oh, it looks like nothing is going in when you turn it off. Okay. And shouldn't this run at 100% speed? Okay, so now it did not stop. Let's see. If it's going to do it on the next one as well. Right? Because if it has 4 and 24, the thing should just keep going. Yes, it does. Okay. So I'm going to let this... Now we need to check if we're going to get to at least 48 again. Yes. Oh, I think I might just have hit the... I need one more load. If it gets to 48 again before this is over... Now, so now the screws are just a little bit slow. So now we're waiting of those. Ah, okay. So let's go ahead and put one in here. Let's just double click. Yes. So I need to get 120. Let's see what this is going to go up to when it's done. 90, 135. All right. So we can bring this down probably to 140%. 126. That's where I'm going to leave it. So this one is 100... What was it? 134 and 140. Let's try this. Ah, 
and 134. And 140. And then now we need to go over to the rotors. And check how fast they are getting made. So we're doing good in this, right? Hmm. Okay, you know what? I'm not going to mess around with this. There seems to be something happening with these. So I'm going to fill these machines with iron plates. Why not? We have enough power. Let this suck me dry. It's all good. Suck all my power. All right. And in here, we are definitely need iron rods. So this one needs to be over. Oh, you got to be kidding me. I forgot this one. Dang it. Okay. Lou? Oh, this is four of four. You're three of four. Power this. I can't believe I messed that up. All right. So this is makes 15 a minute and this guy is probably has a lot of iron plates now so i don't i need to go on a on a green slime hunt it looks like so this guy needs to go up let's speed this up so we get extra so this can actually start filling up and you are making rollers so we have more screws than we need because i knew that because we have two and we only need a hundred and uh yeah 132 per minute but we're making 180. So we can actually underclock those if we want. And the iron rods, I need more. Um, actually? Huh. 18 per minute, but I'm only making 15 per minute. See, this isn't, it, isn't this weird? I mean, guys, am, am I the only one that thinks this is weird? That some things that... Four? That, that I feel like we would need more but it's keeping up but then this m over here only shows 83 percent efficiency so i don't know what this means maybe one of you guys can enlighten me on this if you have more uh information on this or you have played around with it more wow we're already up to 25 rotors and this over here not much because we pretty much just kicked it in up to three and this just takes so long to produce them i only get four per minute and on this guy i get six per minute but we have it automated. I am happy about that. And like I said, um, let me give you a little bit of an overview. Um, is this going to be enough from up here? Maybe I can show you from here. And the sun is coming up perfectly. So this whole valley I want to use. So this guy right here, we're probably going to move either on this platform over here. Or I don't know. I'm not sure. But the power over here, for example we can put up on this plateau so i need to deforest this and so on and prepare the area i might just move this guys because we just set this up last episode and i'm gonna keep it in the same principle i'm probably going to not make this extensive splitting that i have in the back but just have them in line and then the charcoal i can just run over here but next episode we definitely also need to up the transport of charcoal coming over here because i also want to then automate the steel and so on a million things to do i'm really excited right now i i didn't play this game for um i think almost two weeks I, I got a little bit burned out i played too much of it in the beginning but now i'm really really into it again especially now that we are so far advanced already right we're like halfway i think when it comes to research and and a different material so i'm definitely gonna be more on this episode because i'm having a lot of fun i do i really really enjoy this game um i just need a little bit of a break so now we can build a new factory and i cannot wait to have these buses right um but anyways i'm rambling here guys we're making rotors we're making um the re uh, what are they called modular frames which is going to be super awesome and i'll do a lot of um thinking and laying out and preparing for the next episode let me know your comments and your ideas down in the description and i'll catch you guys in the next one okay thanks so much for watching take care stay safe and bye bye